my name is Ajmal Abdul Samad, and I'm a researcher at Duke University Center on Globalization, Governance, and Competitiveness. I have a master's degree in international development and over 13 years experience working in international development with uh, development agencies and the United Nations. My name is Gary Jareffi. I am the director of the Center on Globalization, Governance and Competitiveness at Duke University, uh, also a professor of sociology at Duke. And the center has uh, been uh, working for 10 years looking at different projects dealing with global value chains. The presentation uh, today uh, presented main findings from a research project that looked at the potential of public-private partnerships to achieve poor development outcomes. And the uh, focus of the research was to identify under which conditions uh, public-private partnerships uh, offer the opportunity to achieve economic growth and poverty reduction goals at the same time. For me, uh, some of the takeaways from having done this study is that first the, the, the key term of public-private partnerships is uh, overly broad in terms of what people try to get out of it. We need, in, in, in our particular study, we looked at 135 of these public-private partnerships and a number of uh, agricultural sectors, and it became clear that there were lots of different kinds of public agencies, governments, and donor groups, as well as quite varied uh, private sector firms involved in these partnerships. So the goal of our study was to try to identify the conditions under which certain kinds of public-private partnerships actually could achieve uh, gains uh, in terms of uh, different kinds of uh, pro-development benefits focusing on exports, employment, production, quality, etc. The three key takeaways for this research uh, would be, first, uh, it is important to identify the right type of firm this is one of the important conditions under which uh, pro-poor development outcomes can be aligned with uh, business interests. And governance in the value chains and the position of firms along the value chains significantly influence that. We were talking about a study on public-private partnerships and how they can create sustainable development benefits that actually uh, can aid in poverty reduction or poverty alleviation. The second um, takeaway is that uh, public-private partnerships often lead to economic growth, uh, increased output, investment in trade, but do not often achieve development outcomes. We found in many of these cases, in order to get the price premiums that smallholder farmers need in order to improve their condition of uh, work, it really is helpful for them to, for these public-private partnerships to involve the branded uh, manufacturers at the end of the chain because they're often the ones willing to pay the price premium. The third uh, key takeaway would be that uh, uh, public-private partnerships should focus on local development priorities, identify the right uh, type of problems uh, that challenge smallholder participations and their gains from, these, uh, from their participation in global value chains, and then identify partners and what those partners in the private sector can deliver.